Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so excited because I am taking you guys through another What I Eat Wednesday. However, there is a little bit of a difference. Before I get into this week, I just want to describe to you what it is I'm going through. So as you guys know, if you're not new to my channel and you've been here a while, then you know that I am in the middle of a weight loss journey right now. It is a 10 week weight loss journey because I'm getting ready to head to Palm Springs for Labor Day weekend and I really want to just look and feel my best. So I'm doing really strict keto, which is what these videos tend to consist of however I feel like I wanted to give you guys more content so because of that I decided that I would start filming a week's worth of eating I don't know exactly if that's going to be five days or an entire seven days just because of filming purposes but for today's video we are just going to be doing three days worth of eating because I wanted to get through the end of the like I wanted to get through the end of the second half of the week so that I could start filming on Sunday for next week's video, which is gonna be a full week. So I hope you guys enjoy these three full days of eating. I'm gonna go ahead and start it with Wednesday night's dinner and you'll just follow me through the end of the week through Saturday. If you guys like this kind of video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope that you guys would hit the subscribe button and join the fam. Let's get on with the eating. y'all so for tonight for dinner we're doing chicken teriyaki um, I marinated these four chicken thighs in this bag with this sauce this is the G Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade and really quick I'm going to show you the ingredients we're going to use to make the teriyaki sauce um, so I'm just going to be using some liquid aminos this is Bragg's some garlic, a little bit of xanthan gum, some monk fruit sweetener. So the Lakanto golden brown would obviously be a better sweetener, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna use the classic. Some apple cider vinegar, some ginger, and some pe salt, pepper, and garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and boil all this, and the recipe for this exact sauce, like all of the measurements and stuff, will be listed down below uh, for you guys in the description box, so make sure to check that out. All right, so here is the broccoli, um, sorry, I almost said broccoli beef. This is the chicken teriyaki. I just talked to a little sesame seeds. Uh, these guys are gonna have regular rice, and then I am going to have this cauliflower rice. This is just from Costco. I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave in a bowl, and that'll be mine. Oh, and the reserve sauce gets saved in like a little mason jar like this, and you can just keep it in your fridge for I think like six weeks or something, so I'll definitely be using that again. And there we have it, restaurant style. Uh, chicken teriyaki. There's Taylor's with the uh, regular rice and mine with cauliflower rice. And my bowl is extremely hot because I heated up the cauliflower rice in the microwave. And I hate when my plates do this. All right, so I'm getting ready to head to work right now, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm packing with me. I've just got a two good uh, strawberry yogurt. And then I have three large strawberries here. I've got a hard boiled egg. Three of these Slim Jim sausages, the mild ones. There is one gram of carb per in each of these. And then I've got a holy avocado guacamole cup. And then um, for lunch, I've got this turkey bacon cob salad that I picked up from Safeway. There's like, what is it? There's three net carbs in this and two sugars. There's actually like a, a dressing in here and a little fork too, so this is perfect. And then I also um, grabbed like a sugar-free pudding pack just because sometimes I get a sweet tooth at work, so that kind of helps. And then I'm also gonna be bringing the AHA sparkling water in the lime watermelon. And I have not tried these yet, so I'm really excited about it. But I'll show you guys everything um, that I ended up eating when I get home from work today. And I forgot to say that I am going to pick up a coffee today. All I get is I'm gonna order three espresso shots over coffee cubed ice and water, and then I'm just gonna pour this in there. This is the Premier Protein in the caramel flavor, and I just really like this stuff, especially in the morning. It's kind of like my breakfast or what I do to break my fast when I get to work. So I'm gonna be having this. All right guys, so I just got home from work and the things that I did not eat today, I didn't eat this yogurt or the pudding and I didn't crack this open, but I might have this with dinner today. Um, I'm getting ready to prepare dinner, uh, but I am starving right now. So I've got a serving of pepperoni and just a slice of this Colby Jack cheese. So I'm just going to snack on this while I get dinner started. And tonight we are doing cod and I'm also going to be doing a spinach salad and broccoli. So I'll show you guys that. 
All right, guys, so I got some cod loins here. This is what we're going to be having for dinner tonight. I've just defrosted it, and I'm going to make a garlic herbed butter. So I've just got some Kerrygold here. This is the naturally softer butter. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, whoops. Yeah, so this is the Kerrygold naturally softer butter. Uh, I just picked this up at my grocery store. I actually like this stuff. It's it's really nice. It's a little different texture than the brick, which is great. And then I've got some ground thyme, some rosemary leaves, and then I've got some fresh parsley and basil here. I'm going to chop this all up really finely. I'm going to get about three, maybe four tablespoons of this butter and put it in this dish and kind of like melt it. And then I'll put all of the herbs in there and I'll add some garlic and salt and pepper and then I will fry up the fish and I'll show you guys how I infuse the butter into the fish. It's really good. Okay, so here's what the butter looks like with all of the herbs and seasonings in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the refrigerator while I cook up the fish. Uh, and I've just got my cast iron started here and I'm just going to heat this up. I'm gonna give this a few minutes to cool down in the fridge and then I'm going to start the spinach salad. So I'm gonna be having a spinach salad with some celery, tomatoes. Uh, let's see, what else do I have in here? Some cucumber. Maybe I'll add a little bell pepper because I have like some bell pepper that I need to use. I love like making salads. I can just like throw whatever I have in it basically. A little red onion. Yes, sir. And then I'll do a few stalks of celery. So celery, the best way to keep it fresh is to keep it in your fridge in a container upright like this with about an inch of water. This just helps keep it crunchy and fresh in your fridge longer. So. So I got this rub with love veggie rub and this stuff is the best thing ever. You just do a little bit of olive oil on broccoli and then you sprinkle it on there and rub it in. So good. Okay, so you're just gonna wanna cook this for two minutes um, on a flat on your stove uh, in olive oil and then I pulled the butter out. I had it in the freezer to try and solidify it as much as possible. If you can pre-make this herb butter ahead of time, that'd be great. But after three minutes, we're just gonna flip this over and then we're going to put the butter on top of each piece of fish. Y'all, there is heaps and heaps of garlic on this. It looks so good and it smells so good. So I'm just gonna let this cook down for about two more minutes. And then I like to get a char on my broccoli here. So just a few more minutes there in the oven. It's heated at 400 degrees. All right, so here we got the garlic herb cod with a little bit of roasted broccoli. I just put a little tiny pat of butter on there um, and the side salad. And then Taylor got the same thing except he got some rice and the kids are gonna do the same thing um, with some fruit. So that's our dinner. Uh, All right guys, so I had some room left over for dessert. So I went ahead and I got, I had like one fifth of a cup of the Rebel Creamery cookie dough ice cream. So I put that in there and then I got these keto, perfect keto peanut butter cup ice cream bars and I chopped it up and I put it on top. Then I got a perfect keto peanut butter cookie. I just got one and I put it in there and I'm gonna top it with a little bit of whipping cream y'all. I kid you not, that is keto. And that is so good and I'm about to eat this and enjoy it and so I just made up this tuna salad for tomorrow I used this tuna creations herb garlic packet and then I measured out all the things I added I added uh, some celery some red onion um, some of this chosen foods keto mayo some dill relish and then some yellow mustard and I'm just gonna add like some salt and pepper in there mix it all together and then I'm gonna have that tomorrow with two of these little street style carb balance mission tortillas and then I'm just gonna use like some spinach or whatever veggies I have and that's what I'm gonna pack with me for like my main lunch tomorrow and I'll show you guys what else I pack for lunch Okay, so really quick, I've got a serving of this keto nut granola. So I got one third cup here, and then I've got three ounces of the two good vanilla yogurt. Um, I've got four of these little Slim Jims. Yes, four is the serving. However, I don't typically eat all of them, but I am gonna pack them for my lunch with a uh, half of this holy um, avocado guacamole. This I ate the first half today, but I like to eat the other half tomorrow. I got some celery sticks here, and then I've got my tuna salad, and I've got just some like lettuce and spinach and two of those tortillas in there. And that is gonna be everything that I'm bringing with me to work tomorrow. Mm. 
Good morning guys, happy Friday. I am getting ready to head into work today and I just made my coffee. I used these, whoops. So I use these Java House um, K-Cups. You can use these hot or cold. I love them so much. I will have them linked in my bio. They are the bomb. Um, I just brewed this. I did a tablespoon of the organic virgin coconut oil, a scoop of my uh, perfect keto chocolate base, and a scoop of this collagen hydrolysate. This is from NutriCost. It is the salted caramel flavor. Not sure how I'm feeling this, guys. I really wanted to get something with like a little bit more bang for my buck, I guess. Um, but I think I'm gonna be shopping around for a different kind, just because, I don't know, like the flavor's okay, but like I don't really like the granules in it, and I feel like it kind of, it is a little bit harder to break down. I do, however, like definitely recommend you using a uh, whisk like this, like one of the hand whisks to kind of break everything down. Uh, so you can see that's what the coffee kind of looks like. I am going to do a little spritz of whipping cream because it's Friday and I'm going to treat myself. Um, so yeah, I'm heading into work and I'm going to eat what I showed you guys in my lunch last night. And I'll show you guys what we're having for dinner. Hey guys, so I'm home from work and I did just wanna let you guys know um, it's Friday, so I stopped up at the coffee shop. I got my regular three shots of espresso over ice uh, with just water, so it's like an iced Americano basically. And I just put in this Premier Protein, so that is what I got in here. Oh, and I do do two pumps of sugar-free Torani vanilla syrup, um, so I also get that. And I'm getting ready to make dinner. So Friday nights at my house is pizza night, so I did make this like homemade pizza for these guys. Um, and because I am lazy, I'm just gonna make myself a low carb tortilla pizza. So I'll show you guys everything that I'm gonna do to make that here. All right, y'all, so this does not look pretty because this is the same parchment paper I baked their pizza on, but I just take one of these um, Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. I do a little generous tablespoon of olive oil and then I sprinkle it with some of this Italian seasoning. I'm gonna turn my oven on to broil um, because these cook up really quickly, but I just put it in there to get it a little toasty for like maybe like two or three minutes. And then I'm just gonna top it with uh, some of this pizza sauce. This is the Great Value brand, but actually the carbs and sugar is really low on this there's three net carbs per serving which is like a fourth of a cup and I won't even be using that much and two grams of sugar so I'm gonna be doing that on here and then I'm gonna add just some mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni slices and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it gets out all right so here is my quick little pizza I'm not feeling hungry guys it's 642 right now so I know I need to eat before I start fasting but like that coffee really did it in for me. So I'm just gonna like try and wax on this really quick and then I'm just gonna close out my window, my eating window for the night and I'll show you guys that. Good morning friends, happy Saturday. Oh gosh, the time right now is 7.26 a.m. It is a great day to have a great day. I am getting ready to take a shot of this pre-workout. So. <sighs> Today is going to be another busy day. We are planning to go to Costco and the Costco is like an hour and a half away. Like we live on a small island so everything's really far away. Mm. That is my favorite way to shoot that. To work out is to just take it like no fluff, no funny business. We don't get our energy and we don't go, okay? It is time to smash this workout um, so that I can get ready and go to Costco and be with my family. Um, I have not been in ketosis, guys. Like, I woke up, like, last night I went to bed, I tested, I was not in ketosis. The day before that, I went to bed and I was not in ketosis. And I'm not in ketosis this morning. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to adjust my macros. Like, I'm probably eating too much protein, not enough fat. So we're gonna play around with the diet today. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. I am gonna do like a little bit of an extended fast. Technically, this breaks my fast, but you know what? This does better good for me than bad. Uh, so we're just gonna roll with it. So time to work out. Today's workout was great. I just wanted to pop on here really quickly because the way that we talk to ourselves and the way that we speak over the things in our lives 
truly does impact us. Don't ever say anything about yourself that you don't want to be true because the power of tongue and the law of attraction is very real, you guys. No matter what you believe, I was doing my workout and I wasn't able to complete all of the reps. Now, I don't work out. I didn't work out Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because I work and I had a really tough work week. Today's Saturday and I just got my workout in and I could have kicked myself because it was a cardio workout and I wasn't able to complete a lot of the moves. But you know what, as soon as I was done, when I heard myself say, I could have done better, I should have done better. Why am I so out of shape even being in phase four of this workout, workout 61 out of 100? But I stopped myself and I said, I worked out today. I did a great job. I'm sweating. I got my heart rate up. My little watch here tells me that I burned 265 calories in 25 minutes of work. I put in that work today, guys. I'm not going to focus on the things that I wasn't able to complete or the things that I felt like I should have done better. I'm going to rejoice in the fact that I worked out today. So wherever you are in your journey, I just want to let you know Speak positively over yourself. Give yourself praise. Don't ever say, gosh, I'm just horrible that I can't do this, or why can't I do this, or God, why am I so out of shape? Why am I so out of breath? Speak power over yourself. I completed a workout. I gave it my all. I did my best. I woke up today. I put my clothes on. I showed up. I pressed the play button on my workout, or I got in my car and I went to the gym. Even if you don't get your heart rate up or get that workout that you wanted to, Keep the positivity at the forefront of your mind. I just wanted to spread that message because I am learning how to speak positively over myself. I am on a journey to self-love and self-acceptance and I want to share that good news with you guys as well because the way that we speak over ourselves and over our lives is so important. We literally speak things into life over ourselves. So make sure that anytime you are speaking about yourself no matter where you are in any journey whether it be a weight loss journey a success journey a parenting journey never speak negatively over yourself or speak on things that aren't true or speak on things that you don't want to be true i am a great person i am doing great things i am already successful i am going to do amazing things in life i am successful Speak positive affirmations over yourself because they are so important and they really do impact your day. So whew, with that being said, it's eight o'clock right now. I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. My kids are going to wake up in like 30 minutes. I'm not going to have any time, but I got my workout and I showed up. So I'll catch you guys when I eat. All right, so the time right now is 9.50. We're getting ready to leave, so I'm going to make myself something really quick to eat. I'm going to make um, an egg. Uh, some broccoli here and I'm just gonna fry it all up in some ghee and then I'm going to make my keto coffee before we leave for the road so I'll show you guys what that looks like but um, I'm not gonna have like I know the egg is protein but I'm going to focus on um, the healthy fats and try and just like get like a really fat fueled breakfast in okay so 318 calories 31 grams of fat 2 grams of carbs and seven grams of protein, and that's what it looks like. I just measured out 45 grams of broccoli, two tablespoons of ghee, and then one large egg, and I just seasoned that with Himalayan pink salt and black pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this really quickly. The time right now is 10 a.m., like 9.56, so I'm gonna go ahead and break my fast now. I forgot to tell you guys that I did make my protein coffee, or not my protein coffee, my keto coffee. All I put in here was the perfect keto base and the collagen scoop, and I also put in a tablespoon of grass-fed butter. So yeah, let's see what this does for me. Okay, so we just got home. The time right now is 4.15. I didn't get a chance to record, but I did eat one of these P3 portable packs in the car. It's the turkey almonds and Colby Jack. I love this stuff. And then I ate about half a cup of sunflower seeds, which bad, I know, but they're good car snacks. And so, yeah, I've got all of these groceries that I now have to put away and figure out dinner at the same time. So I'll let you guys know what we have. Okay, so I didn't film a grocery haul this week because I only got like a few things. Literally, it would have been like no point at all. But I did pick up these Quest tortilla style nacho cheese chips. So for dinner tonight, we are going to be making nachos and tacos for these guys. So I'm going to just make my ground beef like normal. I've got my oil here cooking in the crock pot in the crock pot in the cast iron skillet guys it's been a long day i've got my olive oil warming up here and i've got my ground beef defrosting right now and then we are just gonna fry up this meat I don't 
I don't make my own taco seasoning, although I should definitely start because I just looked at the back of this and it says that there's three grams of carbs per two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, that's like nothing. I honestly think I'm just going to, what is it in here? You know what? No, I'm not using that because I don't have those carbs to spare today because I really want dessert. I, I already know I want dessert, so I'm just going to like throw together. I'm going to look at the seasonings I have and I'm going to make myself some taco seasoning. Okay, so these are all of the seasonings that you're going to need to make your own taco seasoning. I'll be sure to have this recipe listed down below in the description box for you guys. So feel free to check down there if you want to make this yourself. I did grab a mason jar because I'm going to make a few servings of it so that I can just have it stored on hand because, because your girl actually does make tacos quite a bit. So I would like to have some taco seasoning on hand that is keto friendly. And yes, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So this was actually super easy to make um, and yeah, I actually really enjoyed making that. It was super easy so we'll see how it passes with the flavor test but just by smelling it, I felt like it smelled really good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up my taco meat now, just ground beef, a little bit of onion, the seasoning, let it cook down and then I'm going to chop up all of my toppings for the tacos and the nachos. All right, so I just put one in my mouth and they taste bomb, but I'm so sad that they're all like crunched up like this. I don't know if this happened because it was in my car or what, but I just have it on pan. I'm gonna put three ounces of meat on here and 100 grams of cheese and broil it in the oven and then top it with my toppings. Okay, so I got these nachos done. Finally, I cleaned up my whole kitchen so I can sit down and relax and eat them. Um, I burnt the Quest chips a little bit, but overall I think it looks pretty good. Just melted the cheese on there. I've got a holy guacamole cup, some sour cream, some tomato, some red onion, and some jalapeno. So I'm going to wax this. And yeah, the timer right now is 537. So I'm happy that this is still pretty early. All right, you guys, so I finally picked up the right kind of enlightened ice cream. I got the peanut butter fudge, and a serving of this is 190 calories. It looks like, what is that? I don't know how to do the carbs on these with the sugar alcohols tonight. So it's, it's, one, it's one net carb because 11 minus the dietary fiber minus the sugar alcohols is one. So, and that's for half a cup. So I'm going to go ahead and serve this up and eat this. Time right now, 6.30, and I'm gonna close it out with this. Wow, you guys, this is so good. Like, it doesn't even feel like I'm eating like diet or like low carb ice cream. So good, I've gotta be quiet and hide out from the kids. Otherwise, they're gonna come over here and want some. So, I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so that was my Wednesday night through Saturday entire day of eating. And as I'm going back and looking through everything that I ate, I can tell why I only lost 0.2 pounds this week. Although I did eat strict keto, I felt like I had a lot of increased calories. I did eat a lot of keto sweets, which isn't bad in itself, but I definitely overindulged. It was the beginning of my cycle for me, so the cravings were really high and I was feeling really tired and kind of sluggish because of that. So I'm hoping that in next week's video, you guys can see a major change or a shift in the way that I am tracking my macros and the things that I'm eating and the water that I'm drinking definitely needs to improve. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I hope that you guys like this video. And again, please make sure that you guys hit that red subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you don't miss any surprise uploads from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!